And in your defense, we are talking about GameStop, right? Uh, it's a, you know, a shopping mall retailer. Uh, we all know it. It's a well-known commodity. Uh, but it, at some at some point, the stock really takes off, right? It it goes from five dollars to a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars to three hundred dollars. It 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 gains escape velocity, as they say, and 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 it ends up almost five hundred dollars a share. Uh, so we're still, but we're still in the midst of a pandemic, right? And you can land a jumbo jet in the parking lot of the Westgate Mall in Brockton or any major <laughs> mall in America, right? So no one's going to the malls. Nobody's nobody's feeding this company, and uh, so it's up around four hundred, five hundred dollars. Is there a a role for someone to play here, for you to play, or or the SEC? or Robin Hood uh, to say, okay, it had, the price has, this di price dislocation has become detached from reality and, and a note of caution might be given to, to other day traders and, and uh, individuals, retailers, retail traders who might get jammed if they get into this trade. Do you, from your perspective, I mean, you've got a unique perspective. What do you think? is the proper thing that should have happened. At some point, this thing got away from you and, and went totally into the stratosphere. And I'm just wondering what your thoughts are on, on how this should have worked. Thank you, Congressman Lynch. I do know Westgate Mall quite well. Um, I would say that just to be clear, I had thought that maybe roughly 20 to $25 per share. Um, uh, I had thought that at that time, but investment theses, they evolve over time. As uh, the fundamental events change over time, it's important to update theses accordingly. And I had mentioned that it appeared as though the stock price had got a little bit ahead of itself last month. Um, but there's a lot outstanding. There's a lot that has happened in recent months to suggest that GameStop could indeed turn around its business significantly. And one big element of that is indeed one of the largest inv investors uh, in GameStop, Ryan Cohen. And he has brought in some uh, some colleagues uh, that, um, that could help him turn around this company. And uh, right, fair value could indeed, time. sorry. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna reclaim my time. Uh, Ms. Schulp, uh, I wanna ask you, so we got this convergence between FinTech